It's your brother, J.D. Nija. Taking my, my beach walk. I hope it is not a wind-blown extravaganza where you can't hear me. But, uh, man, Sundays have really become a day of messages where um, I start out early and I, I, I get the spirit and I come with something. And then I've been listening to um, my one of my good friends. Um, she, I brought her into the truth and she has followed along a little bit. Um, I'm not going to go too much into that, but anyhow, <laughs> I, could, I could pontificate on that <laughs> a little bit. Um, but she's become a follower. And um, she found a church here in Huntington Beach, and I went with her a couple times. And um, it's uh, Beach Cities, and it's a man named Kent Sparks, if you want to pull him up. Um, he's quite... <laughs> <laughs> he's quite good <laughs> he um he doesn't misspeak and he um he's exciting and he he brings in the right mixes of um uh worldly articles and other references and and researches um his topics with um, current articles and things like that. So, um, yeah, Kent, Smart, Kent Sparks, Beach Cities Community Church in Huntington Beach. Um, so then what happens is I've been listening to his messages and um, very inspirational and um, enlightening because his, I don't know, maybe it's because we've both come out of that same charismatic Baptist, um, Protestant charismatics, you know, Presbyterian, whatever you want to call it, the Presbyterian, the, um, of the spirit, the presbytery, right? That's why they call it. Um, when the disciples were filled with the Holy Spirit, it was um, the presbytery. They were, I forget what they call it now. <laughs> but anyhow, the point I'm trying to make here is that um, a lot of the teachings that I led this friend on and a lot of the teachings that I have been bringing out in the last 700 videos is um is being it's being solidified and conf confirmed there's a confirmation with the things that um, the Holy Spirit tells me and the things that the Holy Spirit tells this Kent Sparks. And um, it's almost, it, if, I, if I was my friend, I would be feeling very apologetic for some of the ways that I was treated, being that the love that the Lord has showed her through me has not been has not been realized yet and it's it must be um, intolerable her spirit must be getting torn if she's going to 
to listen if she's listening to these messages because what he's doing is he's cracking the truth and the word of truth, the things that I say, and he's verifying them to her. And it's, I still haven't, <laughs> I haven't still got the apology I'm waiting for, but um, that's not my business. But the point, one of the points I wanted to make with this video, the, um, the truth part of it, the truth, the truth. Um, the truth is, GMS isn't about the truth. I was thinking about it because Kent Sparks was, he says over and over again, and that's where it's amazing is the verbiage he uses to explain his lessons is the same verbiage that the Holy Spirit says to me, my, the name of my channel is Word of Truth with J.D. Nijan. First, it's about the Word, and the Word is the truth, and then it's brought to you by me, the, the mouthpiece. So Ken Sparks is also a mouthpiece, and he's, <laughs> he, could, he could name his channel Word of Truth with Ken Sparks. And so, that being said, I think you understand what I'm saying. The, um, the parallels, the, the, the tracking between uh, the Holy Spirit in him and the Holy Spirit in me is undeniable. At least, if you have eyes to see and ears to hear, it would be um, evident to you. And that's why I'm wondering... Um, what this person, this friend of mine, what's happening in there, in that spirit? <laughs> I'm not going to inquire because I'm going to let that play out the way it needs to play out. I can't, I can't push any more towards that. But um, I just wanted to bop on GMS again. Um, it's becoming evident that these guys are false prophets, and they were. Um, they were designed for me to take down because um, <laughs> the Lord has made me extremely hot towards exposing these bastards. Would I be imposing if I asked you a couple questions? Okay, good. What's going on? Can I put you in my video? Okay. And um, and now you can't do that. You used to be able to come out and just do this in the sand with your feet and find clams enough to eat in a few minutes. I've been here six years. I know what you're saying, but thanks for saying it to the video. You're welcome. Because um, there's not very many, is there? There's not very many. It's hard to find, and uh, so we're trying to figure out if we need to do restoration because you need parents to make babies. They gotta be close enough together to, you know, do that thing that they do. Maybe if the nukes just come burn everything up, then the clouds will come back. <laughs> if we weren't here, I think it'd be okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we just need to be better stewards, right? So, so there. What are we talking to? We're talking to Word of Truth with JD Nija. It's a biblical channel. Okay. Um, and this is just another biblical example of how we're not following the ways of creation and, and what the Lord would rather us do. So, yep. awesome. I'm going to continue. Thanks for your time. Thanks. You too. So there's that. Interesting, huh? Not very many clams left. So, huh.
That was good. That was excellent. So there used to be clams all up and down this beach, like unbelievable amounts of clams. This was like clam central. It was really healthy. We had kelp out there. We had quite a bit of kelp and we'd have, today we'd still be able to surf because this wind wouldn't be affecting it in the way um, you would expect. But I don't know if, if you could hear her voice or not. Very interesting. I will see if that if that works out or not. But she was talking about they're they're doing clam research, right? And finding out how many clams are left. And I'm I'm noticing they're not finding very many clams. And um, I was looking at the what they were looking at. Little hole in the sand was where the clam was at. Was breathing through. So I'm going to walk a little bit more. But um, the point I wanted to make about GMS is that I look through all their channels and I look um, at, I've, I've deleted a bunch of my GMS channels because um, they just, it's not, it's a, it's a depressing, sickening um, religion that these, these black Hebrew Israelites are pushing. It's, it's, it's such a mind fuck because on one side they're saying things that are true and they're very set in saying what they say. They're very assertive and aggressive and militant to the point where you're like, well, it must be true prophets because they're, they're saying these things so boldly, right? But um, what I've noticed, and I'm going to pay a little bit better attention I'm probably going to do a video on it implicitly calling these fuckers out because they won't answer me because they don't have any answer to me and that's why I keep doing what I'm doing and I keep trolling them and giving them a hard time and talking shit on them it's because I'm waiting for them to to throw me up there again because the only way I can get to their people is through them they're not, their people aren't coming over this way. So what I, the point I'm making about truth, truth, they, they don't tell the truth. None of their channels have, have the word truth in it. Um, they, it's all about everything else besides the truth. Um, GMS InfoDoc, um, GMS Fear the Most High, GMS Five Upon Precepts. I'm calling all you guys out. Um, GMS, don't take the karagma. Um, GMS, dedication to. Um, GMS, the basics. GMS, basic wisdom. Do you hear the word truth in any of that? It's nowhere, the truth is nowhere to be found because there's no truth in them. All praises, honor, and glory to the Most High. I can hardly use Yahushai anymore because now I'm sick of them. The Most High, the only begotten Son, and the Holy Spirit. Fucking the Lasha, the Lashwa, Kadash will come back when it needs to come back. I can relate to what, to how it feels and how it sounds. Sounds right to me, and it feels right to me. But these guys have made it. Difficult to say it. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and the Gakaha Kodash. <sighs> see how that, see how the wickedness of the spirit works? They bring in the truth, but now the truth of the names is mixed up with their wicked doctrine in my mind and in my spirit because I, I walked with them for a few steps. And I got full of shit. I'm fucking still getting that shit off me. But the Bible says, and that's what was interesting about Kent Sparks and what he was saying in his message today about the Antichrist. And these, this is another aspect of that. Um, he's confirming what I say is I have... 
the tendency to search things out. I'm always searching for the truth. I'm a truth seeker. And as a truth seeker, you can't stick your head in the sand and say, I don't see that. Uh, uh, what, na, 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 I, I can't hear you, I can't hear you. And probably one of the biggest beefs against me by, by my women is why am I so negative? Why am I so, why do I read the paper? It's so awful, it's this and that. What are you talking about? That's so negative, blah, blah, blah. Ken Sparks was saying it today, and it's true. You can't know unless you go. And I'm, and I'm on go. I'm on fuck all gas, no brakes. Sorry for the wind. I can feel it blowing now that I'm going this way. I'm going against the wind, so I'm going to check out. Thanks for being here. Um, till the next one. Man. That really built my spirit up here in the pastor talk. In the same spirit as as me. I'm out. Shalom.